What do you think of this one, guys? I think we should go inside and check it out. Assuming that it's open, it looks like it should be. The grass has not been maintained, as you can see. Okay, where do you get in? <laughs> There's the side of the house anyway. Anyway, you'll get a uh, perimeter view of it. Here's the meter. It's all zeros, it's no electricity. Whoa, got a tree attacking me there. Here's the back side. And that looks like either a shed or an outhouse. Likely a shed because the house looks large enough to have its own bathroom, I would think. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks pretty rough in there, guys. I'm gonna need a mask for this one, so hold on. Okay, just entering now. I can't believe this place. I mean, look, at it's just full of stuff. Mainly junk and debris. It looks like it was once carpeted. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were once renovating it because you could see the uh, studs over there. But look at the floor. I mean, this is just total disintegration going on here. Wow. Well, obviously the bathroom. <laughs> and that looks like they decorated it for Halloween, even though they didn't. But with the way that's hanging and the webbing. And they have everything there all compact in the bath tub, the toilet, and whatever that is. But they left the sink out. It doesn't look like they've uh, used that sandy foam in a while. And coming into what looks to be the laundry room here. Wow, look at the ceiling. This place looks like it's been abandoned for quite a long time. And it uh, looks like that might be the dryer back there. It's so hard to tell because of all the grunge. And that's obviously the washer. And you can see the uh, taps there, so it's likely where they belonged. I doubt they were moved. Just now in the big area here. And what is this? It's a skull of some sort of animal, but I don't know what. Does anyone know? Whatever it is, it has some pretty big incisors there. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just trying to get my footing on all this debris here. How full living digest. Not Christmas stuff left behind as usual. Hmm, I wonder if this is the kitchen. Looks like kind of like a kitchen table. It's so hard to tell when houses get this deteriorate at which room is which. Because there's some pots and pans in here. But that doesn't always mean anything. Oh wow, look at this. I mean, it definitely looks like it's set up for a horror film. Oh, I love the cabinet. Definitely an antique. Looks like they like to take care of the wood. There's a calendar here from 1978, but that doesn't mean anything because I think they were hoarders, so it's probably not the only one laying around. Barrels for something. Oh, it looks like there's a little baby, there's a small bottle there. and. They're obviously into ho like healthy living. Yeah, I've definitely seen better homes. Yeah, see, there's still cooking utensils out here, so. Oh, look, there's an old uh, 
rotary phone. Hold on, just make get my footing. It's still intact too. Probably held together by all the cobwebs. Very interesting. That's where the uh, wood stove would have been. I wonder if it set on that thing there. It's no way that thing's not strong enough. Oh my God! Look at this. A doll with its head and leg and feet cut off. Wow. That is like really creepy. Oh, here's the foot. One of them. Like who would do that? Oh, there's a uh, trip back in time. Definitely a very old picture of Niagara Falls. And it looks like they were into music note reading, maybe even playing, let's just say, don't take your love from me. My romance. Looks like they were into love songs. I have another old cabinet here. Yeah, definitely hoarders, because you can see there's a lot of uh, old magazines they collected over the years and grunge. Oh, definitely back in time there. It looks like it's from an old Sears catalog, perhaps. Maybe 60s. And interesting. I'm just trying to make my way out here. This is the front porch area. Looking pretty rough. Pretty dilapidated, as you can see. And what's that there? Looks like a portable heater, because you can see a vent there on the side. And what's this say here? When you wore a tulip and I wore a big red rose. Well, definitely a lady lived here. Okay, just in from the front porch into that big room with the skull in it. Oh, let's check out this Christmas card. Oh, it's not. It's a um, invitation to some sort of a Christmas carol. If you want to pause it and read it, I can't get over how much stuff that these people accumulated. I'm just trying to get over the debris here. So sorry for the shakiness. Oh, now that looks more like it was the kitchen. Yeah, cupboard there, more like a kitchen cupboard. That little ornament looks kind of cute, just sitting there alone, away from the mess. There's a couple cards. It's a get well card. I wonder if somebody was ill. Hmm. Oh, it's not even filled out, so obviously they bought it and never got a chance to sign it and send it off. Actually, the wood isn't too bad in this room. It looks like a, a kitchen table. Very old one. Oh, I hope you don't have any buddies in here with you. It's uh, the spring of 2014, so... Now there is a vintage from the 60s. I remember those. And they were like tin in the 50s and, or the 40s and 50s. People will actually pay money for those on uh, eBay. Vintage collectors. So, what you, that's surprising to see that empty. That's because everything's on the floor. I can't believe how many family circle and women's day magazines I've seen in this house. And there's a little step ladder, and that leads me to believe that they were doing some renovating eons ago. Oh wait, this is the room with the skull. I thought the last one was. They all look the same because they're all full of debris. Well, not all debris. There's some good quality stuff mixed in. 
And what is this? Is that like a little motor for something or is that a plumbing fixture? Okay, now is this the kitchen? I'm confused because that room over there has the counter, like a kitchen counter, but this one has the chairs. And uh, looks like insulation. I thought it was shade carpeting. Oh, wow, this is really vintage. Check this out. Those uh, clear gums from rounds tree, or round trees. The uh, fruit gums were from the 50s, and the clear gums were earlier than that, so that's probably, like, I don't know, um, late 1800s when that company started. But as old as uh, these chairs. Oh, speaking of vintage, look at this. These people really like their cards, especially a lot, a lot of Christmas ones. More cards on the floor. The wood, wood's not too bad in this room either. Oh, I see some vinyl over there next to a Dominion bag. I can't read that. Uh, Victor? I can't read the rest. Can you guys read that? Oh, yes, typical for the uh, Christmas decorations and more Christmas cards on the floor. And, oh, here's a Reader's Digest. What's the date on that? Uh, 1957. Something old there. It's hard getting around all this debris. Another Dominion bag. They haven't been around in a long time. There's the skull again. Oh, another Reader's Digest. It's 1958. Oh, I just noticed there's linoleum floor there, so I guess it wasn't carpeted throughout. Must have been just the stairway. So uh, let's check out the basement. I don't know if it was a crawl space or if it was accessible or not. What is that? I'm sure somebody would know, because I sure don't. Oh, it's flooded. Yeah, a lot of the houses I've done this spring are flooded pretty heavily because we had a pretty harsh winter with a lot of snow. And uh, it looks like somebody left their skates behind. Yeah, you can see the water over there as well. So I'll just try to show you as much as I can from here with the flashlight. Oh, pitchfork. Kind of goes with the doll. Creepy. Hmm, I don't know what that is, an upside down pail. Probably not. Okay, well, you want to check out the shed now? It's head over there. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot interesting in here as I thought. Maybe some storm windows for the house, maybe? Maybe not. Well, thanks for exploring with me, guys.